one of the major industries we focus on is the pharmaceutical industry, and they have two main problems. The first is endocrine disruptors, so otherwise known as EDCs, where they're getting into wastewaters and causing problems to the endocrine systems in, in, in mammals and humans. And then the second is the effect that antibiotics are having on the natural environment. The result of putting high volumes or volumes of antibiotics into the environment is, is the increase in antibiotic resistant bacteria. One of the things that we can do is to look at removing those antibiotic materials uh, and endocrine disrupting compounds from the water. Bacteria are becoming resistant, antibiotic resistant bacteria increasingly causing deaths across Europe. The main issue is the existing treatment technology that is deployed on large scale is not tailored to address the problems that these active compounds pose. Some of the benefits that the NIAX technology gives to the pharmaceutical industry is that the media absorbs the contaminants. The contaminants are often designed to penetrate cell walls in mammals and as a result sticks relatively well to our media. And as a result of sticking to our media, we're able to oxidize it very quickly. Thankfully, Arvo, we've got fantastic technology. It's almost as if the problems of AMRs and EDCs has been designed to shoot RV Tech. We can adsorb these organics so effectively onto our media, very, very efficiently, and then simultaneously oxidise them into nothing. Sulfur methoxazole is a, an antibiotic, basically. It's used to treat lots of bacterial infections in, in, in humans. If it prevails in our water, then the bacteria in the environment will slowly become resistant to it. So best to remove it. We don't really want to see sulfur methoxazole in drinking water. Um, and we have tested all over Europe, actually, where in the drinking water and wastewater from, from treatment plants, the typical concentration of sulfur methoxazole will be about 0.5 to, to 1 milligrams per litre. And we can effectively reduce that by 90% plus, down to less than the level of detection, so less than 0 0.05. The benefits that that gives you is that you don't have to use chemicals, and most, probably most importantly is it doesn't produce any waste. And uh, as part of the waste, sometimes the breakdown products can be more hazardous than the original compounds that they started with. One of the more interesting compounds that we've had quite a lot of success with lately is Triton X100. It's used extensively in the pharmaceutical sector. Uh, however, it is an endocrine disruptor, and so when it finds its way into the water courses, it, it causes problems. And um, Arvia have um, developed our technology to the point where we can remove it very effectively from wastewater. So one of the other great things about our technology is you can tune the technology to suit the application. You obviously don't want to overtreat because that just represents cost. But you can also treat all the way down to parts per trillion levels if that's necessary for the application. We are offering water a second chance. We want to provide a solution to water pollution. We understand the chemistry of wastewaters. We understand different chemicals. We know how to build a solution. We know what you require, and we will give all our undivided attention to meet your target.